Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Let's Out of the Wind Waker. And last time we cleared out some islands. In fact, in the last part we actually did a couple of islands, I think. Unless that was a reef. Nope, we actually did do a couple of islands because I remember very distinctly um, getting these two done. Because we did this one in the part before that. So now we are going to go ahead and do this island, which we've, we've done everything except get our map. And I did go to Beetle, and I got um, a bunch of bait and a highway pair. And you want to make sure you have that because we are going to need it for an island coming up pretty soon. Or actually, I don't remember if it's pretty soon, but I do remember that there's an island that comes up um, a little later, and you have to have a highway pair. And I remember getting to this island in my practice file, and I did not have a highway pair. And what it ended up happening was I got really ticked off, and I had to go find a beetle ship and I got the highway pair. So it wasn't a huge deal, it was just a very minor setback. But of course when I was trying to get through my practice file, I was rushing myself for some reason, um, even though that was completely unnecessary. Small Fry, there's a real heavy stone island. Uh, I, I probably should have uh, paid attention to what he was saying, but I'm pretty sure it's nothing that um, we don't already know. Okay, so Headstone Island is complete. Um, I don't think that there was a map here. Yeah, there wasn't. So, and this island was where we did the Earth Temple, if you remember, um, about uh, ten parts back. Actually, no, it was it was longer than that because this is the dungeon where we fought um, Jao Hala or whatever his name is. No wait, I. Yeah, and then in the the wind temple, you f you fight um. You fight Mulgera, I think. Uh, I can't remember. It would seem like you'd fight Jahala in the. Uh, actually, no, because the Earth Temple is like a dark temple or a dark themed temple, and Jahala is just a giant post. So I guess it makes sense that we fought Jahala on. Um, in the Earth Temple, and we fought, we fought Mulgera in the Wind Temple, and Mulgera will get up and fly around the arena, so that does make some sense. But anyway, so this island right here is Two Eye Reef, as we'll see very soon. Um, we don't have a map that we can use here yet, so for the time being, all we're going to do is find the fish and get our map. And I think this is picking up every time I breathe this microphone, so I'm going to try to move it out of the way. I hate when that happens because it annoys me and I'm pretty sure it annoys uh, you guys that are viewing this. But um... The fish, the fish, the fish. I don't... Whoop. Okay, I just wasted some bait, but that's okay. I don't want to have to go all the way around this island just to find that fish. Well, most likely that's what's going to end up happening because um, that's the way it always works out for me even though I try to make things go as fast as I can, but sometimes stupid stuff like this happens, and now it's raining, and it's about halfway through night, and it's raining. Kinda doesn't make sense. You would think that it would have started raining a little earlier, but, um, yeah, whatever. Okay, someone is yelling outside of my room, and I'm about to go out, out there and, like, hit someone in the face. Someone has a very loud voice. Um, I had a, I have a feeling that I used two baits somewhere because I had three on that um, X button, but I don't know what happened to it. I know I just threw one away. Oh, there's the fish. Yeah, I probably uh, accidentally used another one too. Oh well. Okay, so two fishes already in this video, and hopefully we can get a third in. That way I know we've actually completed a decent amount in this part. So, And this is uh, Two Eye Reef, as we'll see. Um, it's not the last of the reefs, although I know it's one of the last. Because um, I don't think there's any in the last uh, three columns of the map. So, this is one of the last ones. And then again, I, or, and again, I skip what all he says, but um, like I've said millions of times before, it's nothing he says is too important.
unless you are playing this game for the first time or you're playing without a guide, in which case you might want to pay somewhat attention to what he's saying. Because I remember uh, when I played this when I played this game for the first time, um, I did not use a guide. Because when I played this game, basically I never used guides on games until I started playing emulators. Um, so any, uh, so like basically any game before that point, um, for the most part, I always just played by myself. And real quick, this is just another reef, so we just clear out everything and get the chest and we can go get our treasure. But so, um, but basically every game that I played up until the point that I really started getting into emulators. Um, I always just played it by myself, and I was always almost um, completely against guides because I was like, well, you know, if I'm going to play a game for the first time, I should not use a guide because that will spoil things. Um, well, actually, that's not really what I was thinking, but uh, because I, I really didn't have a computer for um, a while, and that's a whole situation that we can talk about at another, uh, at another time. But, I guess kind of, um, the reason I never used guides is because I never really had a computer that I could just look at and get guides. And also because I, you know, I had game morals to where I knew that, you know, if I'm playing a game for the very first time, it's probably best that I play it um, and figure things out um, for myself. That way I'm not accidentally exploit or, um, spoiling anything for myself. But with this game, I remember, um, and this was 6th grade when I played this game, and I think, I don't remember if I actually owned it or if I borrowed it from someone, but I had this game on the GameCube, and it was near the end of 6th grade um, the first time that I played this, because I remember 6th um, grade was a very interesting year for me, actually. Um, it, was, it was a very fun year. Um... And it was basically the last year of any kind of basic math that I had. Um, because I'm in all advanced classes. As I, I, I've mentioned like once or twice. Um, like right now I'm taking... Um, hold on, let me just... I gotta make sure that that's the right wall that we want to jump from. Okay. Okay. So this wall? Yeah, we want to jump from this wall to get to that chest over there. But anyway, because um, right now in high school, in my senior year, I'm taking um, AP English and AP Calculus. In sixth grade, I think I was taking Accelerated English or whatever. And uh, I, I was taking Basic Math. And, like, almost every single day, or... Er, Basically, throughout that entire year of math, I always completed my assignments, like, really early, and they were, like, always correct. Um, so, um, I think we want to have the wind blowing west, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, so I would, um, I, I did really well in that class. And basically, at the end of the year, I told my math teacher, I was like, uh, do you think I could go into advanced math? And he was like, you know what? I think you could. That's not exactly what he said, but I'm just kind of paraphrasing. But so then I was in it, basically advanced math for that from that point on. Anyway, at near the end of that year, and I, I didn't even have to take um, his exam or his the final test for that class. He just told me that I could just stay home that day and not take it. Because I think back back in 6th grade we took an exam for um, like near the end of the year we took an exam for every class and it was um, every class had a day of that last week and I think uh, I skipped that one okay so this is treasure chart number um, 13 by the way and that's all we have to do for this island so now we can just sail on but anyway and, like, in the last few days of that class, I took uh, a guide for this game that I had borrowed um, from someone. And I was writing down, like, where all the heart pieces and treasure charts were and all that. Um, and I was going to try to get 100%. Um, I think I did use a guide to complete that game, like, to find all the Triforce charts. That's because I was a little 
game pussy back then, but now I almost, I, well now I never use guides on a brand new game, or a game that's just come out, like Skyward Sword. Um, I just beat the first dungeon, and it was a little difficult, but I, you know, I managed it by myself, so. Um, but anyway, I just remember using the guide for this game, and that was a very interesting year. So, um, how, yeah, I'll just keep talking. I won't do a speed up or anything, because we're almost to the next island already. Um, so I think... Um, okay, this island says that there is some watchtowers. Oh, they just appeared, like out of random, I see. Uh, yeah, so we want to do something about these watchtowers, so we're actually going to go up in them. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, these watchtowers. We do want to clear these out. And, uh... Oh man, do we have to destroy all of these turrets? I think we do. Actually, no, I don't think we have to. Um... Yeah, I don't really think we have to. I do think we have to float to one of them, but... Okay, so as long as they don't shoot me off of this, I should be fine. Oh, crap. Jeez. Oh, are you kidding me? That's not fair. Okay, climb, Link. Climb. Climb. Oh, crap. Climb. Whoa, we made it this time. Man, that was crazy. Okay, so I do remember these towers. Um, basically, uh, when you just when you clear each of these towers, a chest is going to appear. Um, right? Or do I, or do I have to destroy all the turrets? I don't think I have to. But then again, well, uh, when is something I ever think actually right? Um. Oh, I do. Uh, I do have to destroy all the turrets. Man, why? Okay, let this fun begin. Actually, I think I'll just speed this up. It's take a while. Okay, speed up.
Okay, so we've cleared out all the turrets, and as you saw, I made one chest appear earlier, and all it had was a skull necklace in it. And the reason I went up to get that is because I thought it was the one that's going to have um, the treasure chart in it, but unfortunately it was not the one. So, I had to go and kill every single turret and make um, another chest appear, which is... Uh, not sure if it's over the island where the other chest was, or... Um, let's see... Yes, it is. Alright. That's what I thought in the first place, but I didn't want to flow over, or fly over there and then find out that it wasn't on this one and then feel pretty stupid. Okay, so let's go ahead and steal this right underneath these guys' eyes. Because they're stupid and can't turn around to see us. Can we get a treasure map? And this is number 40. So that's good. Okay, so now, um, we need to actually head towards the island on this square, which is another fairy island. And there's not much to do here, we're just gonna get our map, and then there is a treasure chart that we can use at this island, as we will see. Let's go ahead and get bait out, and then get this. So we want to use treasure map number um, four with this island. So we'll go ahead and get that out. And then you can see it over there on the horizon. So let's go ahead and get our map real quick and then we'll go on over and get our treasure. Actually, no, I think the treasure's closer. So we'll go ahead and do this first. Okay. Let's try not to overshoot it. Alright, perfect. And then, let's see what we get. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good, I think. I hope. Uh, we didn't really work for this. Actually, I don't remember when I got this treasure chart. So I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. But I guess we're gonna find out. And I'm rubbing my hands to get it. Oh, it's getting hot. Oh, ow. Jeez. And it's a heart piece. Okay, that's good. And I, like, burned my hands, but, eh. I guess it's not too bad. Okay, so then let's get our map. And we've already been to this island, as we've been to um, every other fairy island in the game. So, let's get our map. And then we can call this island complete. So. Alright. Give me my map. And we have Southern Fairy Island. So, I don't think all the fairy islands are called North, South, East, and... Oh, and I just muted the microphone for a second. I hope it's still is recording or else I'd feel pretty stupid. Oh, and again, I did not listen to him. But oh well. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, next time on Legends of the Wind Waker, we will move on and do more islands. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.